Uh, mostly. I'm going to, have to still pull up roll 20 though. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong one. Who's Nemo? Uh, one of the people from a group uh, that I, I'm in uh, on Fridays. Ah. Um, Ian introduced me to that group. Um, cool. They kind of get together every other kind of Friday. It's Nice. Okay. I'm I'm debating wording here. Um, but as soon as I get the wording okay, I'll I'll start this off. That's uh, fine. That's fine. All right, I'm back.
Ah. That hurts. Alrighty. Um so you guys have been uh been knighted recently. And as you are staying at the uh the, the palace in Rusk Haven, um, a letter appears uh, to Mr. Traglin. Oh, mm -hmm. hi. Congratulations on your knighting, Sir Traglin. The letter arrived addressed to Mr. Wiggles, which I noticed was the name of your charming little hand puppet. Took the liberty of forwarding this letter to you, having heard that you are staying in Rusk Haven currently. Wishing you the best of health, the mayor of Battenville. What? An ins <laughs> Hang on, an hang on, hang on. That. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Just keep it. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, yeah. As I'm going through the letter with my fingers, I'm just like, what the heck? Letter arrived addressed to Mr. Wiggles. I didn't send any such letter. What? And to Mr. Still Wiggles? I'm so confused. So this letter is from the mayor. Did he include the letter that was addressed to Mr. Wiggles? Uh, there was there was a letter that Mr. Wiggles sent out. Um, in the intervening time, apparently, a response came back from Mr. Wiggles was communicating with. And the mayor of Badenville forwarded that to you little bastard he was eaten this was this was back when you first uh first went to baden uh, sorry first returned to badenville after driving off the the dragon and making you know peace with the goblins right right the, the day after that so it's been some time uh, enclosed within that is this letter. <sighs> Mr. Wiggles, we have found the long lost vault of Otaluk. We have cleared out all of the dangers, but the last level with the vault is giving us the creeps. We will continue to try to penetrate the last level in service. Watch. And then it gives uh, details on the location of the vault. <laughs> <laughs> I am. What the heck has he been doing? Okay, uh, well, uh, mm. Watch apparently has no idea that Mr. Wiggles is, I hope, dead in the belly of a crocodile. Stick hasn't talked to you yet. I haven't heard it talk to me. I feel like... It's a good sign. I feel like... Uh, I feel like the spirit, uh, the ghost of Mr. Wiggles is still somehow around, but I don't know. I can't, he hasn't spoken to me recently. I, I can't tell. Keep thinking he's going to walk through that door. I know. I, and I can still do stuff. And I, I cast another like quickie mage hand and put the letter away and stuff. Uh, if Ore is around, <laughs> does Ore observe, like, uh, Traglin kind of, like, feeling the absence of Mr. Wiggles and, like, you know, I don't know, 
you know, talking about Mr. Wiggles a lot or just like Mr. Wiggles' absence occupies a lot, uh, weighs heavy on his mind? I, I, I leave that up to Daniel, whether he would be that open about uh, Mr. Wiggles in the presence of OA. Uh, well, I mean... Yeah. Um, Draglin, I, I, uh, I can't help but notice, you know, you don't need to talk about it if you don't want to, and I'm probably not the one to talk to, but I, I just want you to know that you're not the only one who's had to go through grief and, and loss, and, uh, you know, I, I don't really know what to say, but, you know, there's people you can talk to. I know it's hard, and, uh, but I think it gets better. <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard people talk about, you know. Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> No, I'm not ready to yet. That's okay. You take as long as you need. I'll never really be gone. So yeah, I think where I fully is like, oh, he misses Mr. Wiggles. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's lost his muse. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is, is the fiend still present at this point? I, I'm just gonna, let me, let me, let me cast something or check something. I don't uh, know how you would determine that. Insight check. I, I mean, that's a... You know someone who might be able to. I don't know for sure that I would. Uh, what are you, what are you inciting? I'm inciting on whether or not I Sick. feel like the thoughts that I'm thinking, the fact that I can still like move stuff around magically and do things. I'm trying to insight. I'm trying to gain insight into whether or not that is me doing it. Or the remnants of a demon that has plagued me for years, or the demon is still actually present and is still sounds, plaguing me. Sounds like a spiral to me. That's, yeah. that's a... Um, interesting. Warlocks are kind of weird in that and it, um okay yeah I, I know what you mean like yeah because because i guess clerics they prepare their spells each day you can kind of say like you know they're they've got kind yeah, of a direct really feed that, those are built. yeah mm -hmm. I, like i never really know what to do i always i think i often err on the side of like a warlock patron is more like they give you magical abilities that you just have, but that's completely my like. I don't, I don't know that there's a ruling on that. Well, maybe there is because there's a there's a pretty helpful like. There's like a little box in the paladin section that says like what to do when you break your oath. Maybe warlock has something. Like okay, that. so I'm I'm gonna say that. With a 12 of insight, you, your patron is still that, that fiend, Mr. Wiggles, okay. regardless of whether it's physically on your person or not. Okay. Um, I don't think Mr. I don't like the idea that Mr. Wiggles is like controlling you or giving you, um, 
Yeah, I don't like the idea that Mr. Wiggles is outright controlling you mm -hmm. or, um, you know, putting thoughts necessarily in your head. Right. But he did grant you um, the, the specific spells on the extended spell list for the Fiend yes. patron. So yes. if you swap out patrons mm -hmm. somehow, um, those spells would be shifted for the new spells of... Correct. And, Correct. And, yeah. Was Mr. Wiggles a... Like a pack boon of some kind? Is he like an amulet or a familiar or something? Possibly, yeah. Do you have a pack boon? I think so. Pact of the chain is what I've picked. Oh, okay. Do you have like a special familiar? I mean, that is it, basically. I feel like he would work as, a, as an amulet. As a talisman, too, because you can like, put it on somebody else's hand. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Uh, speaking of, though, you wander across the um, the the palace uh, wizard who is um, who is about to summon his familiar mm -hmm. here, up up in the the laboratory he's he has uh, put together, and he offers as a fellow magic user to. Come and join him, and uh, if you have the spell to summon your familiar. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I can summon it, but I have a find familiar. Yeah, yeah. And I and will, and I will, I will, I will do so and cast it as a ritual like I'm supposed to. I'll go through the ritualistic, right. like, incantations and yeah. magic circles on the floor and all that all that all that yep he he goes along with you he's summoning his own familiar you do your thing you're summoning your familiar um okay my five uh, candles my pentagram my mr wiggles i summon works. thee from the depths of hell uh, do, do you say that, or were you joking? I do say that. At some point in the ritual, I do say that. Uh, the, the court wizard is giving you a side. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like, what the hell? This yeah. is not normal. Um, so what do you, what do you summon? Um, <coughs> do you any of the basic familiars, or you can do an A. Well, I mean, I'm imp, not sure I if I. Going to be imp? Yes. Well, yes. All right. Uh, okay. So, if you don't want the court wizard to see the imp get summoned, you can make like a a deception roll to try and hide the fact that you've summoned an imp for a round. Okay. Uh, no, I'm already committed. I've already said all the words out loud. We both expect an imp t or a demon or a devil or an entire thing to appear. No deception right. roll. But do I need to <laughs> cast Find Familiar as a spell itself? Is there some like condition to it? I don't remember. You can use it as a ritual. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a 10 gold piece uh, spell component cost, but at the moment that's being covered by the, the court wizard supplies of spell components and stuff like that. So. Okay. Let me give you control of Mr. Imp here. Uh, so, um, after the hour-long ritual, you summon up a little imp. Um, ah. ah, hello. <laughs> this, is, this is nice up here. Not all fiery 
and uh, smoking. And, and yeah, this is nice. I could get used to this. And, Hi. and also not all, and also not all um, gooey and saliva and stomach acidy from that crocodile. Am I right? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> I thought I knew things. I thought I knew what I was doing. Who are you? What are you doing here? I called for Mr. Wiggles. Are you him? Uh, I'm the best you got, Sonny. Uh, my name is, uh, you can call me Bob. Oh, God. Bob. Bob. That's such a human name. In the edit and control by Daniel. There we go. Yay. All, All right. right. You have an imp familiar. Yay. And I'll change it to Bob. Uh, now, nah, we'll, we'll just leave this imp. Is one of the imps forms uh, an animal puppet? Um, uh, I don't know what a closet be... is, but... <laughs> Alrighty, you have summoned your imp and the, uh, the, the court wizard is like, okay, you're, 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 you're where, where did you study magic to... to be able to do that. I've never seen him. You're, you're kind of freaky. Eh, I didn't study. I am... I look at the, the imp. I look at Bob. I am, um, plagued by these things. Uh. A voice in my head. I assume from Bob... I called him Mr. Wiggles, I think. Uh, Mr. Wiggles. Wow. Wow. The, Bob. Wow. Okay. No, no, Mr. Wiggles. Bob uh, stares off into the distance for a moment, as you mentioned, Mr. Wiggles. Did you mention Mr. Wiggles? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh... All right. What what are you guys gonna do um now? Uh, well, first I wanted to say the music but isn't working. I won't join. Oh. One moment. I might be able to take care of that. Um. Right. We didn't really talk much about um the knighthood and all that, right. and, and what our next plans would be. Uh, I mean, you know, you've got a letter that is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't uh, <clears throat> know exactly what we do with that other than go check it out. Uh, right. But uh, that's, that's, you know, that's your thing. So the knighthood, I, I, I did think a little bit about it. It's like, do we want a little home base? I, like, Ian loves having a, a home base in a, in like a game. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Ore's, you know, doesn't particularly care, or he thinks he doesn't care. Right. Um, but uh, I would certainly take a... a, a a keep or whatever the house. Yeah. Yep. Um, <clears throat> um, uh, I think. I wonder. I feel like getting a getting knighted with Ore is is sort of a double edged sword because it's like. I, I wonder if you're going to start wishing that you'd been knighted alone because if we get a keep, it's just going to be like constantly filled with homeless people. <laughs> like, um, uh, yeah. 
I was considering uh, starting to construct, well, or I, I suppose the king was considering starting to construct a, a small keep or a small village right about like here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that paint. Uh, is it? Oh, that's a nice spot. With with kind of the idea that it's close to the goblins, so that mm. you can kind of have a, a good, a close dialogue with the, the goblin town. Yeah. And it's an intersection of roads, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That is pretty it's cool. close to the capital, so... You'd be close by. Um, Dragon statue also... reminding everybody of that cool thing we did. <laughs> yep. Um, it also um, kind of gives at least the illusion that we're pushing back the forest a little bit. Even yeah. Bad, really. That's a great idea. I really like that idea. That would be awesome. Hmm. Um, very, very funny setting up shop next to the, to basically next to the hut, but, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. It would be funny if we were just neighbors, though. Uh, like, right. <laughs> kind of resentful, spiteful neighbors, but still just like, <laughs> you know. Neighbors, yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, with the hag, or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I like it, actually. Um, I got it though. Um, right. Yeah. Cool. I think. Uh, uh, the, uh... What's that? Oh. No. All right, then, uh, the construction of that small castle and town will commence. Uh, the bunch of laborers will come winding down out of Rust Haven and start to break ground on that. Uh, all right, cool. Um, in the meantime, though, uh... Uh, Traglin, uh, what are we going to do about this letter that you got? I hand it to my imp. What do you make of this? Did you write this? Me? I just got here. No, did you write this in another lifetime? Or something? Just read it. Uh, Mess. So, I don't, I don't, uh, Mr. Wig, Mr. Wig, oh, oh, Mr. Wiggles, oh, I've heard rumors of, of Mr. Wiggles, uh, <laughs> no, I didn't write this, <laughs> I did not write this, I would not want to, uh, uh, step on the toes of, of, of Mr. Quote unquote, Mr. Wiggles. <sighs> okay. Um, do you have any idea of its meaning? Um, what is the vault of OT look? Uh, Traglin, you can make a history check. Okay. But I'm also asking the demon, what is the fault of OT Luke? And why would this, why would, why would he have sent anybody there? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um. Uh, the imp. Uh, so okay. So you know, uh, Traglin, that uh, Ochaluk was a very powerful wizard from a couple centuries ago. Oh. Who was uh, responsible for a, a large number of spells over his lifetime, um, both inventing them and casting them. And um, with a 15, um, you know that if he cast powerful enough spells, they would still be persisting to the current day. But you don't recall what particular spells that might have been. Wow. Okay. Um. At some point, Ore is going to, like, come down from the... come downstairs in the inn. Mm -hmm. Be like, oh, uh, Dragon, is this guy bothering you? No, 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 no. We're friends. This is my friend. Uh, uh, what's your name? Ow. No. Nice to meet you, big tall guy. <laughs> hey. Oh, I thought I thought you were talking. <laughs> How's it going? All right. Ah, the, the little tiny imp. I mean, uh, your finger. Hey, all right. Supposed to tell them your names. Uh, your, your divine sense can sense that this is a fiend. Definitely. You got that. Oh, and that guy over there? That's Taliesin. Voice. Where's Taliesin? <laughs> Sorry. Taliesin. I... Taliesin? <laughs> yeah, the guy we rescued from the pit. We shouldn't have mentioned uh, his name out loud since his name is pretty volatile. Yeah, Kimosabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Kimo Sabe, quote unquote, is um, uh, most often these days he seems to be in the kitchen trying to gain back uh, some some body mass that he uh, he lost over the course of his centuries. Yep. Uh, you can go. You can go uh, fetch him. And he looks much better, actually. Uh, let me see if I can pull up. Tellison, you're looking great, man. Don't say what? his name out loud. <laughs> the imp's in the other... You're not... Wait. Oh, right. <laughs> the imp. Hey, Trevor, can I take you aside? I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I understand, like, what, what's up with the imp? Uh, I really don't know. I didn't mean to summon him. Okay. I think it's okay. They, like, like I think they just usually just follow orders and stuff. I, if, is, is it, like, a familiar, like, I like mine? I guess so. I guess so. I thought okay. I was summoning Mr. Wiggles after I lost him to the crocodile, but... You know, it's just there's all these little guys showing up that are <sighs> following us, and it's just... I, I was just worried for a second, you know. No, no, no. He's with. He, he, I thought maybe. I thought maybe the the bard had gone to hell and brought this thing back. No, he. he no, the imp is with me. He's he's that. he's with me. He's with me. I I promise. Okay. All right. I, all right. He is just not what I had hoped. Uh, okay. This shows what I get for signing deals with devils. Never what I expect. <laughs> I like this music. Yeah, it's from uh, Lord of the Rings Online, which has like a lovely kind of acoustic <gasps> soundtrack in in like the Bree Lands. I was totally uh, rediscovering Roll Twenties. Uh, Talison walking by um, will kind of poke his head in at the mention of uh, Otaluk, mm -hmm. but uh, searching his memory, he can't recall. Uh, any more details than wait, 
Moment. Okay. But he does say that if there was a, if the vault has been discovered, there might be uh, the vault was presumably um, uh, there might be writings or something of Otaluk in it. Okay, that's actually okay. Okay, we can we can we, I can work with that. If you want to check this out, traveling, I'm, I'm with you. I would love to. Yeah. Oh. Uh, All right. I think you know. I think I think we've 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 been in town long enough. We made an appearance. Kind of just waiting for a. Uh, they said they're making us a keep. Damn. That's crazy. <sighs> yep. What are we gonna do with the keep? I don't know. Live in it. Put up tapestries. Hire servants. Hide, hide secret doors. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I don't know what I'd do with a secret door, but it, it's a cool idea. And you keep, like, wine in there or something? The Vault of Ore. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Mm. I don't think I'm a vault guy. Eh, I I think you are. You make a well, great. You how about make a, a, the 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 orphanage of Ore. Oh yeah. I'm we dwarves are. A vault, but, 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 <laughs> that sounds good. Hey, I'm a dwarf. It's all about the underground. I like my, oh, it's true. my I, I like me my vaults, fair. my vaults and my secret <laughs> treasuries and my tunnels down to who knows where. Um, should we, if we're planning on going on another adventure, uh, do we have enough rations and stuff? Um, I'm going to try to remember to use those. I always forget to mark Yeah. Probably have... buy some rations and feed for the one horse that is mortal. Yeah, I have four days um, worth for the horse and myself. I have three for myself. I'll just right away buy another. Uh, how much is that? Would it be simpler if we did actually have our own gold? Or or do you want to hold? Because like, I'm perfectly okay with you holding on to just being the treasurer. I am too. I am too. Okay. Um, all right. Then, uh, five silver pieces per ration. So I'm going to get one more ration to start. Okay. Just for sure. So that we all have the same, but then we'll probably need more than four days, right? I would probably, uh, well, how far is it to the vault or the entrance to the vault? Or do we know anything about where this uh, they they do give directions. Uh, well, not not directions. Um, they do give a location of the vault, um, and it looks like it is about a two week journey from where you guys are now. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to say a week. Oh, one, one week journey from what you guys are. Five silver pieces for per ration, so... Um, five times seven is 35. So if I go down to 70 and get 70 more rations that'll give us 85 gold left or 85 silver left say 70 rations no seven rations oh. seven rations for a week right but we, we need to get back too because we're headed to a vault oh gosh you're gonna have a kitchen that's very true okay 
uh, for the human rations, are we buying, um, should we buy Talison's uh, rations too? Uh, yes, he, he would he would appreciate rations on the trip. Uh... Um, so that's three of us. One fifty-five. Uh, Forty-two to get us there and back. Forty-two full rations. Forty-two full rations for the, for the the people. Um. Uh. I'm going. I mean, back. if you just if you just got forty-two, mm-hmm. you know, you and I have four each already. I could yep. just be extra. Okay. In case we. Need that. Wait a minute, can I make food? No, that's a higher level thing. I can purify food though, so that helps if we find food along the way. I can make sure it's safe. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, that's more help for getting water though, I bet, because we need water like every day. We can't carry very much of it. Alright. 42, I can do that. You have a draft horse though, you bet you could carry like two little hogshead barrels full of water. Mm hmm. How treacherous is the... Where, where uh, Have you pinged the vault on the map, or do we not know that exactly? Or is it off-map? Um, it is It is off-map. It's, like, right. past the, the mountains to the east of you guys at the moment, and, like, right. quite a ways that way. Okay. Quite a ways to the east. I didn't land, though. Maybe, maybe, uh... It would be wise to get, like... I don't want to over prepare because like the more resources I add that can be less fun. Yeah. But um things that come to mind tent water yeah. barrel. Yep. Cuz you have a draft horse mm-hmm. but you but the draft horse has two passengers potentially. I guess maybe we're trading off who's carrying the bard. Yeah. Go know. ahead and add 21 rations to your sheet. And I'll add 21 to mine and we'll just split that. Right. Because we're out the gold now, so. I have 25 rations. And I'm not encumbered yet. Good. When I add rations to my sheet, it adds it as an attack. What? What? (laughs) Not mine. Ration attack! Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. It's like the Pokemon uh, uh, Safari Zone where you can like throw <laughs> berries at them. Ooh, I am overweight. Uh, uh, well, maybe you carry the money, I carry the rations. You just give me all your rations. Okay, take 21 more. Uh, the, the draft tours can probably carry some. That's uh. true. That's true. Yeah, if we're carrying this much food, maybe we just do like food pack on one side, water barrel on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works. Um, where did I put my handbook? Two gold. This is it. It's always a cool idea. I do like cover preparing. Yeah, in this game. Um, <clears throat> oh, I forgot the barrel in the player's handbook is massive. It's like a, I think it's like a, you know, 70, like a barrel. 70 pound barrel. Like whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. 40 gallons. If we need that. What about, what about... How much would a vehicle be like a... Oh my god. That the draft horse could pull? And you can just pack everything into the cart? I I like a cart. I want a cart. I like that too. Okay. Does, is the, does it seem like the terrain will be... Uh, more or less passable by a, a cart. 
yeah, you guys can set a pace where where a cart can can make it. All right, I like that. Um, don't have like vehicle proficiency. Um, but you know who needs that? Nothing, nothing bad will happen. No. You only need that if something goes if something goes wrong and you gotta like steer well. I'm sure that won't happen. One barrel or two? <laughs> uh, one. Because they're huge, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. And we can just like leave it out in the rain, or if we get an if we get a, it'll just like supplement our water supply. I feel like it's like if we find water. And that way we can put it in one barrel and I can just purify the whole thing. Yeah. 15 gold for a cart. Cool. Okay. Could, over our downtime, um, could I have used the blessed spell to make some holy water? Sure. I don't remember exactly how that works. 43, we now have a cart. Uh... A uh, cleric or paladin may create holy water by performing a special ritual. Ritual takes one hour to perform, uses 25 gold pieces worth of powdered silver, and requires the caster to expand the first little spell slot. Is it worth 25 gold pieces? Because I can already divine smite. Um, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm going to say as you prepare to go on this travel, the mm-hmm. uh, the cleric that you spoke with previously uh, shows up and hands you a bottle of holy water as you prepare to depart. Thanks. <laughs> rations, rations, rations. Oh, the the portents the portents say that it, it may be a, a a rough time. So. Oh. They say anything else? Hmm. Pretty vague. It, it, there's there's storm clouds coming. Um, I don't know what that signifies, but I, I have nothing more just concrete than than that. Well, they're as unhelpful as ever. But thank you. You've been very helpful. Uh, I might give this to Traglin because I have stuff I can do to feed some undead. Would you like this? It's it it would be a ranged attack roll. Um, doesn't specify if that would be strength or dex. If it says ranged attack, maybe that defaults dex. I, don't know. I have Can a. I l- guess you could use either one. I like that. Unless, if you have abysmal strength and dex, then I guess I'll keep it. But if not, it might be I don't Dex, yes. Strength, I'm okay on. But, right. but Dex is my low one. So. Uh, can you apply it to weapons, or is it just a... No, it's a ranged attack, and it deals 2d6 radiant. Honestly, that feels like you. All right, I'll hold on to it. Yeah. And maybe there will be a ritual that I can use it for or something. All right. notes in PC oh, come on uh, how much is the cart have you have you purchased that already the cart is purchased it is gonna be okay. heavy though right but I mean I think I'll be, the I'll be right back um, and will prepare to hit the road when I get back. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I think because the draft horse has like monstrous strength and it doubles things that it can pull mm -hmm. and push. Right. I don't know if we need to worry too much. Unless we're loading it up with, like, if we get just huge iron chests and we want to load up the cart with like 10 of those, maybe then we can start worrying about it. But Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just more thinking it can carry 540 pounds. The cart is already 200. 14 mm. pounds of feet is going to be 140. 42 mm. rations is another 74. Worst 84. case, we can always settle up and have four, uh, Eeyore help. True. We'll go, you know, uh, since, since we're not riding, uh, we, we won't go any slower. Um... We might have to take like a day to improvise a two horse. Uh, uh, maybe 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 we can just say we have. Uh, harnesses and stuff for either one horse or two to pull the wagon. I don't know how hard it is to make a convertible wagon like that. Mm -hmm. Some quick math here. Oh, cart, right? Wagon's bigger. Gotcha. Actually, we're going to be fine. All right. We have 46 pounds that we can stick on the draft horse in addition to what he's carrying now. All right. That's a full barrel of water and uh, all the rations. Well, I don't know if the full barrel of water is... A full heavy. barrel of water? I think it's 40 pounds? Or no? It said 70 on the equipment list. Pounds? Oh, I would think that would include the water in the barrel. That's probably. that'd be helpful, for sure. I yeah, there's no way an empty barrel weighs seven. So that's it's got to be. I don't know. I've lifted some of those plastic survival barrels, and they're not they're not light. <laughs> can imagine a wooden yeah, I guess would I even worse. I don't really have a grasp on what 70 pounds feels like. I guess lifting weights is a useful hobby for D&D. &D. Yeah. So you can be like, oh, I know what that, I know how heavy that is. No, it's more growing up with a mom who bakes her own bread and buys, oh, yeah. or buys red wheat in 50 pound bags and okay load up the van and i'm like ah oh. <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right i feel like a draft horse could pull a cart with food and water yeah yeah on it uh, and, I, and I floated the idea that I don't know if we have like a convertible cart that can be pulled by either one horse or two, mm. but if we need to, we do have a second horse. Um, I know that I'm not sure the, the benefit of having two horses versus one other than they pull more faster. I think they, they can pull a lot more if they're working together. If we if we get loaded down with extra gear, if we like pick oh, up a bunch right. of stuff, or we all right. want to ride. Right. I, I think I don't know how true this is, but I, I I'd heard that like uh, two horses working together can pull like more than double what they individually could pull, and if they've worked together for a long time, they can pull even more. Wow, that's like, cool. More more than double. <laughs> I don't know how true it is, but... Uh, all right. 
Alrighty, all the preparation complete? I think so. Um, oh, were, were you going to grab anything in addition? Like, um, I, I think, is it fair, Sean, that if we think of something like, oh, I wanted more rope, if it's not like in combat or in like the moment where I need more rope, I can just, yeah. we can just, I can just make uh, Daniel pay for it. Retroactively. Yeah, as long as there's there's gold to, to cover that, you, you could say you, you cool. Okay. Like Dungeon World, where you just buy an equipment pack and what's in it. That's just decided. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. All right. I mean, you, you guys would have had several days to pack and yeah. prepare. So, uh, it's somewhere in the in the cut in the theory. Um. Uh, Oh, I, 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 I said it. I said rope. That's actually exactly what I mean. uh, <laughs> Daniel, that'll be one gold. Okay. Is, is a cart less expensive than a horse? <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Yes, a cart is. I mean, I feel like that makes sense. Horse, horse can do more than a cart. I feel like. Cart, fifty, yeah. You can ride a horse without a cart, but you can't ride a cart without a horse. That's true. Unless you have a hill. You can't put the cart before the horse. <laughs> Unless the horses are at the bottom of the hill. No. Hey, I am all for just remove the chalk and. Ride it down like a roller coaster. That does work one way. We used to do that at my grandma's house. We would have, we would give her like heart attacks. We'd, we'd take the little red, red rider wagon and like oh, ride God. it down the hill. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Uh, you guys set out on your expedition to where these people have said the vault of Otaluk is. Um, it's long, dusty travel. Um, yeah, the, the horse you guys speed. are going... Guys, hmm? no, I'll type it. I'll type it. You can go. Okay. Um... You guys wind your way into uh, deeper into the mountains here, and eventually there. Let's see. There is. I don't have any particular encounters in mind as you go that way, um, so you guys can mark off the the seven rations and so forth to get to. Uh, where the, uh, location, uh, set go. So you guys, um, at the location where, where, uh, the, the letter said to go, um, you guys managed to find a small, uh, small entrance carved into, into the rock. And... Uh, from the darkness inside, you guys can hear some, some nickering and neighing and shuffling of, um, hoof, hoofs and stuff. Uh, and you guys are, put your characters down right about here and start to enter the cave. I'll mark off, what, seven days of rations? Yeah, I did that. Uh, Right. They are now missing from the cart. Cool. All oh, right, I can. Delete the rations from my. Everybody down. Mm -hmm. 
Pretty much. Uh, the horses have to. Oh, uh, wait a minute. There's horses in here. <laughs> I was about to say the horses have to wait outside. There's a horse. They had. They have a horse lobby for us. You can you can squeeze your horses in. Yeah, they'll they'll go in if if you want. Well, it's just so nice for that a dungeon that, that that like it's rare that you come across a dungeon that has a horse waiting area for you, so that they don't get like eaten by wolves. Unless yeah. unless. Less. This unless this was secretly, um, unless this was secretly OT looks soap factory. Mm. <clears throat> uh, inside the inside this initial entrance here, it is fairly warm and musky from all the all the horses that um have been stabled here, and there is a door. Right here with some uh, torchlight seeping through the cracks. What do you guys do? I'm going to tie up Nilgart. Like, right about here. Mm. The, the, the music bot doesn't want to listen to me. Change, change our music over. Hmm. Well, there are horses in this track, so that's that's helpful. Yep. Um, before we get into anything heavy here, can you guys open up the Talison character sheet and do like yes. attacks and so forth with it? Uh, no. Uh, I only see bio and info. Uh, that's probably because it's in our libraries, but we don't have editing controls. Yeah, I can, uh, blah, 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 can be edited and controlled by all players. There we go. There we go. That should give you access to all that. All right. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, torchlight seeping through the door cracks here, um, and you hear, uh, shuffling footsteps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. We don't, we don't know if they're um, gonna like us being here, do we? Right. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. What do you think? Just knock on the door, or uh... uh that's usually what I think. Let's... Let's try to peer through first. Right. Just so we don't, we don't, we know what we're up against, is my thought. I can see, but I can't sneak. You might want to do that. Ooh, I actually could. Yeah, let me, let me go ahead and do that. I will carefully crawl in. And kind of nudge up to this door and try to peer inside. All right. Um, make a stealth roll. Okay. Nice. Fifteen. All right, that, uh, that is enough. All right, so, um, as you peer through the door, um, a figure dressed in a, a black robe, 
um, uh, walks by. Um, and he's doing kind of like the, the elephant trunk kind of walk, you know, where you pretend your arm is an elephant trunk. Mm -hmm. Um, but he has a crudely constructed hand puppet in that hand. And he's like... What? You... (laughs) He walks, um... He, uh, bends down and grabs one of these sacks of, uh, on the floor here and starts to drag it with, you know, his other hand is down here and it's like dragging the the hand puppet's always kind of in front of his face. Mm. Walking towards you, towards the door. Um, like is he going to open the door um you presume so he's dragging a a bag of what you presume to be feed for the horses oh I will dash back as quick as I can and then just like (laughs) bump into Ore and kind of push him back and (laughs) get up against the wall and try to move as little as possible where's my if I move move to hide I'll just click Where's my, where's my Harry Potter cloak? Just quick. <laughs> That's my, yeah. Yeah, we're all going to duck back into the, into the entryway and kind of do the whole plaster ourselves against the wall thing. All right. <laughs> uh, and then I remember right. Nilgart's right there. Oh god, I hope he, this guy oh. doesn't know how to count. I wish I'd put Eeyore there, because then I could telepathically tell him just <laughs> kick. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, well, one, two, twenty. Alright, um, the, uh... The guy in black with the, the hand puppet uh, is going to see Nilgard right here and be like, Huh? You're not one of ours. Where did you come from? Oh, wow. And then we'll turn and uh, see see you, the Traglin. And, um, Can I cast a spell on him as he turns? Okay, what do you want to cast? Sleep. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we hit full health. I don't know if it's going to work, but it could save us an early (laughs) play. Uh, There. What? Why isn't it casting? Ugh. Something like 86 something? 5, 5d8. 5d8. 22. Oh, that's not a lot. All right. Um, the, the, uh, the cultist, uh, as you, as you do that sleep spell, will slump to the ground and <gasps> start snoring. And nice. I, I'll try to cast it without without getting Nilgart, because Nilgart, Nilgart would probably fall asleep first. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, Nilgart is Nilgart is fine. Um, Nilgart has more health than him. Is, wow. Is more th- yeah. Right. This guy's asleep. Nice. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think this lasts a minute. I, um, I don't know what to do. I guess. Pull him out of the cave. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's let's go ahead. That's a good. That's a good idea. I don't even know what this guy is doing. This feels bad. Like, just do it. Just just you. Okay. You're, you're committed. Pull him uh, to the outside of the cave <laughs> and lay him gently, like against the wall. Yep. Uh, 
All right. He is propped <laughs> snugly and cozily against the wall, still sleeping. <laughs> and it will last for another 50 some seconds. So. I, in the meantime, while you're doing that, I'm going to rush back up to the door, peer through. Are we safe to go through? Uh, you don't see anybody else uh, from that vantage point. I think we're clear. Uh, okay. I'll run back over <laughs> and, and I'll tell or, uh, Eeyore to like stand off in the bushes and, and let me know when he wakes up and where he goes. I would have just told Eeyore to, when he wakes up, kick him in the head. <laughs> Oh, nah. I'm gonna kill him. Kick him lightly in the head. Uh, <laughs> Eeyore's gonna watch him wait. I tell Eeyore, no kicking. <laughs> Unless he kicks you. Okay. Uh, I think we're on the clock now. What are you trying to do here? Let's go through. Uh, let's just, I, I'm not sure. All right. And I'll push the door open, sneak past, and then immediately try to listen for activity. Okay. Um, uh, that, that creak, um, of the door, um, someone to, to the, to the north, uh, says, um, hey, Robert, you're gonna be, hurry up and feed the horses, you're gonna be, uh, uh, late for the daily ritual. <laughs> and I nudge Bob and say, that's you. Can I, um, I was just, um, retroactively preparing my spells. Mm -hmm. There was something I meant to do before. Uh, can I have precast a spell earlier today since we were arriving? Uh, sure. Uh, aid. Because it can target up to three creatures, I could uh, increase the uh, hit point maximum of all three of us uh, by five for the day. Oh, that's cool! Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, Bob will be like, I don't know what this guy's talking about, but then uh, we'll we'll shout up. Okay, we'll be right there. Just feeding the horses. We'll, we'll be to the ritual very soon. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> and uh, in, in a few moments, you'll hear uh, chanting coming from uh, the north. Eastish. Alright. I'm following what you. What do you guys do? Uh, I'll follow you, Dragon. I'll, uh, uh, Northeastish. Oh, God. It's too bad I can already see the map because I'm going to sneak south. All right, okay. Uh, all right. Um, from the shadows of the the candlelight down here, Chaglin, you can see that there is one person, um, at least one person, uh, doing stuff in this room. Oh gosh, back up. Uh. Is he actively doing stuff, or does he seem like he'd come this way? Uh, seems like 
Um, the, it's, that person is not like pacing, but doing like some kind of writing or something, or just sitting down. Okay. Uh, you the the chanting uh, to the no, to, oh sorry. Come oh, on, I can't. Oh. Should we should we move them? Do you want to move uh, them? Yeah, you you can move them. Um, I do that. Yeah, you, you, you can move them around. That that's fine. Right. Um, the the chanting to the north is is uh repeating mr wiggles mr wiggles mr wiggles what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so wrong <sighs> wait Draglin, are they trying to bring mr wiggles back from the dead i really hope not what Okay. I feel like maybe I've misunderstood the situation a little bit. I'll just follow your lead. Mm -hmm. Uh from from that vantage point, Traglin, the the cultist at the at the desk here is going to uh spot you kind of peeking around the corner and his crudely made hand puppet will like perk up. And um, he'll he'll start to shuffle towards towards you, Trad. Mm -hmm. Right? Didn't you tell tell them to come check on the horses? Uh, Traglin, are you carrying your Mister Stickles? Physically? I am. I I uh, wasn't, but I act. I did contemplate getting him out just because, eh, this seems like a good time for Mr. Twiggles to come and do his thing. Uh, uh, the, the cultist will, uh, will note your, your hand twig, mm -hmm. not a puppet, but uh, ah, welcome brother. Have you come to help us with the vault? Uh, yes, and actually I have. And I will. That's right, sure enough he has. It's just a stick. Here's a stick. Your, 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 your hand puppet there is, is quite, quite crude, but, um, yes. Very good, very good. Um... We we were hoping that the the master or Mister Wiggles would would get the get the letter and we were sort of hoping he would come himself. But, oh oh um, oh! As long as you, I uh, I know Mister Wiggles personally. <gasps> you were his bearer. Oh my goodness! Where where is he though? Uh, Did he. Do? Uh, well, thing is, um. He, he, um, he, uh, he was lost. I'm not sure of his state now, but Mr. Twiggles is standing in for him in the meantime. Oh, I see. Of course, Mr. And I, Mr. I, Mr. Twiggles. And I trust the word of Mr. Twiggles as much, if not more, than Mr. Wiggles. Um... <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> Honestly, I'm being honest, but okay. Or, 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 or push me being honest. Uh huh. Uh, uh, where is. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, 
I do have a question. What is this? Yes. I, what is this order of the hidden hand? He never, Mister Wiggles, never told me about anything regarding. I guess this fine organization. And he oh, well, and I received a letter that I and I pull out the letter and I received a letter that indicated he was in communication with you. Yes. Well, it it that's not quite. Um, unexpected. I, I presume there are other orders that we might not know of either. But um, certainly, we all share the the hand the hand puppets here. So we're all part of the same worship of Mister Wiggles. Um, so you are a, a brethren of of this order, even if you're not. Okay, thank you. I Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I am one of you. Wonderful. Um We were searching for the the vault of Odaluk um and his his various writings on how he how he performed his 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 spells so long ago, and we have found it. It's this this. And he come come. I will I will show you. It, it's fascinating. Wait wait. I'll um, nudge him. Uh, I, I I I I come with companions, friends. Um. I am not alone. Oh. Well, I suppose everybody needs protection in days like this. And protection. As long as they're aligned with our goals. Is he human? I.e., am I shorter uh, than him? Guy? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I'll look up at him, and you—you you understand a guy like me needs real protection, and so I'll show him over and present him to Ore. <laughs> Ah, yes. Well, I, I can see why you would want that much protection. Yes. But he's not just a bodyguard. Uh, he's will... also a friend. If you say so, yes, I, I will believe it. Um, and he introduces himself as Hawatch, uh, the guy who, who wrote the letter to Mr. Wiggles. Um <sighs> Oh. Is this place like a tomb? Are there like skulls lying around? Um, interesting. So the the various um things that are lying around here, uh, the the cultists brought them with them, and all the horses are here are, uh, from them as well. Um, without all the various artifact, uh, all of the all the barrels and pillows and so <clears throat> forth. This place is pretty barren. Gotcha. Um, it looks like just sort of a, a sealed off um, kind of antechamber for this large uh, yeah. large uh, staircase down into the, into the depths of the earth here. Gotcha. We finally found a, a very old manuscript that said this was the location of the vault of Otaluk. So once we found this location and unsealed it, um, we've been slowly working our way down past the various safeguards until we've gotten to the level at which the vault of Otaluk is at. But that level is... It, it it is creepy. Um, hmm. uh, well, you you, probably, you may have to see it for yourself to see just how creepy it is. But 
Um, I'm used to some weird stuff, but this is creepy. Next level uh, weird. Yes. Yes. So uh, I, I wrote to uh, Mr. Wiggles um, to, to see if perhaps he could, um, you know, between the lines, if he could send some help. Mm-hmm. I, I presume that was you, party. Yes. Uh, do, do you need anything? Do you want to participate in the um, in the 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 nightly ritual, Mr. Wiggles? <laughs> Mr. Wiggles, Mr. Wiggles, Mr. Wiggles. I look over to Ori. You've got the spirit, sir. Uh, uh, okay. Sure. Why not? What's there to lose other than your soul? <laughs> All right. Uh, Watch will uh, direct you up to the room uh, to the north, and um, uh, the the leader of the uh, the ritual here uh, has a has a, a baton in, in her hand that she's uh, waving around and it has like a, a kind of a clown head on it um, but she's just uh, kind of uh, I guess sort of conducting the the other cultists who are chanting Mr. Wiggles, Mr. Wiggles I'm here um, yes um, and they all are kind of gathered around a very very small uh, effigy of Mr. Wiggles. Oh, God. Even though they all also have their, their hand puppets that they're pretending to, to see out of and mm. uh, communicate with. Can I whisper something very quietly to Dragon? Sure. Glenn, I think your puppet might be a demon. <sighs> Don't want to yeah. alarm you. Uh, thanks, Ori. Watch will um, will oh excuse me a moment will uh, will slip out. Yeah, I also was wondering what if, if Eor has any news. Uh, let's see, Eor. Um, wow. Well, uh, yeah, the uh, the cultist um, at this point has fallen into a a natural sleep. Nice. <laughs> It's that nice when that works out. I guess, I guess that wouldn't happen if you were like in combat and you cast sleep on someone. But I do like the idea that if you caught someone off guard with sleep, they might just sort of yeah, roll with they, it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hawatch uh, comes back, uh, leading a, a scrawny goat. To the uh, the ritual. Uh, Honestly, actually, that's a great house roll that I might just roll with. That like, if you if you surprise someone with the sleep spell, it has like a longer duration. I like that. Yeah, I mean, they pe- people fall asleep. I mean, it yeah. it happens. It's and like make it a useful spell out of combat, which it kind of a yeah. little bit is. Yeah. Except unless you want to like one shot somebody. I mean, sleep is a really useful spell. I'm not opposed yeah. to it. Um, I think it's a really useful spell in combat or if you want to assassinate someone. 
but it seems like it should be a good spell for this situation, which because of the, the like rolling that you're making, it is. I think if you didn't make that rolling and it lasted for one minute, it wouldn't really be that useful um, as like a non-lethal option. That's the thing. It's not useful as a non-lethal option, which if it should be. It's sleep. So, right. Right. Yeah. Uh, I really like that. Uh, Hawatch comes in uh, with with leading a goat, and uh, it seems pretty obvious that they're going to sacrifice this goat. Does anyone want to stop the goat sacrifice? I think uh, first we should. What do you say? All each say some words about how much we like Mr. Wiggles. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just feel like we needed some time. I don't, I don't know. Mr. Wiggles, to me, <laughs> what what can I say? The dictionary definition of love says, and I'll just try to like do a long, a obnoxious year. speech. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this is, but I just want to, <laughs> I don't have any ideas. I'm applied. In conclusion. <laughs> uh, sometimes I feel almost as though I am the puppet. All this while, I'm just Wiggles. like talking to my stick. Oh God, Mr. Wiggles, if there's any time I needed you to not shut up, it's now. <laughs> Uh, Bob, I'll I'll finish my speech and then and then and then like, and then like nudge Talisa to start speaking again. I don't have a plan. I'm just trying to stall until someone else comes up with a plan. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna duck back. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunker down and talk to uh, Bob, and I'm going to instruct Bob that he is. Uh, I'm not feeling the ventriloquist's vibe at the moment. And so I'm going to tell Bob to be like the the kid inside the box that talks back to me when I'm talking, like doing the the talk to the spirit in the spirit box, and we jam him in the box. And <laughs> there's actually a child hiding in the bottom of the spirit box, and this is how we fake the audience out into thinking that there's like something spiritual and mystical about this thing except maybe there is because okay. it's a real imp <laughs> all right um do you understand okay, bob? Uh, bob you're going to be the voice of mr wiggles and this stick is going okay. to be mr wiggles except it's mr twiggles I, 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 okay yeah and what, what do you want me to say i don't know just like roll with it Sacrifice the goat now! Oh god, that's the exact wrong. Okay. I hold the stick up and pantomime him talking. Uh, I guess. <laughs> is that cast sanctuary on the goat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. It's still just stalling, but. Yeah, cast kind of sanctuary on the goat. I mean, I'll try to do it yeah. stealthily without anybody noticing. Because I feel like sanctuary is one of those weird subtle spells. That, like they might see me casting a spell, but like I don't imagine there's like a glow around something with sanctuary. It's just like I can't. Why can't I attack you? I don't know. Okay. Uh. Right. Um, the uh, you want a creature within range against attack? Yeah. You must choose a new target. <laughs> <laughs> or lose the attack. Okay. The the coldest with the rod is going to uh, 
pull out a, a knife and move to slit the goat's throat. Um, but, uh, okay. Uh, wisdom saving. Can I, can I do, can I do unsettling presence first? I guess it doesn't matter. It's not really a way I could do that. Smoothly. Okay. So with all the, all the chanting around, I'm going to say that your casting, the casting of Sanctuary wasn't noted, but, um, actually, I, I thought about this. I did thought about, I did think about this. All right. So the, the cultist with the knife, uh, is going to, um, move to cut the the goat's throat, um, but and at the last moment, will hesitate, will pause, and be like, you know, Hoach, I don't like that you ate my lunch today. Oh and God! Is gonna no. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, if the eighteen hits. Can I use? It does. It does. Can I use? Um, no, never mind. I'll let it go. I'll let it happen. I was gonna use re rebuke the violent and have him take the damage. Oh. <laughs> but it's just four damage. So I think. <laughs> what? You've gone insane. Um. Uh, th these two cultists here will, will move to to restrain um, the the, uh, the the cultist with the knife, and Huach will back up and, and clutch uh, the, his shoulder where he's been uh, stabbed. Um, and then, once she's restrained, Huach will uh, come up to her and tear the the baton or the rod from her hands and say, you're not worthy of this. And um, we'll, we'll move back. Um, this is part of the ritual. I just got here. I don't know. Is this part of the ritual? <laughs> no, it is not. You're not supposed to stab me. You're supposed to stab the goat. Uh, we'll deal with this later. And... The goat. I'll just leave leave the goat for now. Um, yeah, I think we should really sit down and explain exactly what's happening so we can understand what went wrong. <laughs> um, Puach will um, uh, c come up to 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 you to the party, um, and well. That ritual was not supposed to go that way. I'm sorry you had to see a, a ritual gone so badly. Um, can we get you anything? Do you want to um, food or anything before you head down into the the vault? Oh, I mean, uh, I think we're good on food. I, I would love to know more about the operation here. I mean, I'm totally all in on the Mr. Wiggles thing, but uh, the more you know, right? It would be easier to accomplish our task if we knew exactly what we were doing on behalf of the great Mr. Wiggles. So, uh, we are looking for, um, uh, blood. books written by Otaluk. Um, where he describes the various uh, bindings that he's done on various entities. And one of those entities, wink, wink, is not Mr. Wiggles. Wink, wink. Um, the book um, was apparently, from what scraps of knowledge we know, um, was titled ba, 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 uh, The Book of Bindings, and it is somewhere down there, um, probably heavily protected, um, on the level that 
creeps us all out. We've cleared out all the way down there, but that level is just too creepy. Yeah. Um, not gonna risk it. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a tenth level order of the hidden hand here, and I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not certified to go down there. I'm. I'm too valuable. Uh, well, tent but, isn't certified. What level was uh, the, the the leader over there? Well, oh, well, so, someone someone further down. We we could send any one of those these guys down, um, and we we we've, we've tried, but um, they they just don't. Oh, they just end up dying. I see. So, as far as we know, we haven't hit them. So we're sending. Right. We're hopefully. Don't sacrifice the goat without us. We will really want to see that. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. Cool. <laughs> and do you need the book for the ritual? Or is the goat just a different thing? The blood is, just... is the most important part. We've moved on. We are progressive. We no longer um, use virgins. We're, we're, oh, cool. we're down to we're down to animals. We, Does the goat need to be a version or just any goat? Any any goat. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, All right. God. But if you don't have the book, then the whole thing just doesn't work, right? Well, we, we, we do we do these rituals anyway, but once oh, we okay. have sort the of book, practice rounds, right? Right. Offerings, Mr. Wiggles. Gotcha. Well, we, 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 we don't know what will free Mr. Will, will, will not oh, free Mr. Wiggles. We're just throwing spaghetti at the wall, seeing what sticks. I got you. But, um, You're in your blue sky face. No bad ideas. Hmm. We need the book in order to find out how to free Mr. Wiggles. Because he's been imprisoned for a very long time. Poor Mr. Wiggles. Well, hey, I have no doubts that we could totally go down there and get you that book. Uh, uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right, Kimo Zabi? Ready. I am totally Kimo Sabe, and I am ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. See ya. May the thank blessing you, thank of Mr. Wiggles thank you, thank you. be with you. I will. <laughs> All right. You guys descend down the stairs and arrive at well there should be a, a dark map for you guys but it uh, is reveal to alrighty can you guys put your characters in the uh, the square right there yeah meanwhile I will un hide those. Oh, I already put him in. Oh, You're good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys played through um, this. Eeyore was here. Previously. Eeyore was here in another life. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you guys did play through this level uh, in the Tomb of Annihilation, but this is the same layout, but uh, different. Different place. A different narrative. Um, 
it, Eeyore like knows exactly what's happening where everything is, but has doesn't have the capacity to explain it. No, no, no. I not. totally it's, forgot that you guys had the mount. The the we had the we had a we had a donkey named Eeyore. I think yeah. Eeyore. This Eeyore doesn't remember, but there's some uneasy feeling like been here. Before. Uh, um, immediately as you guys descend down to this level, you notice the, the purple kind of moss or fungus sort of growing out of the walls, um, and springing out from the moss or the fungus are these eye stalks that blink at you and um, seem to follow your, your movements. Um, everything is very dusty, very old. It smells like a very old, uh, vacant uh, place. So, uh, what do you guys do? First swarmer tunnels, then walleyes. I know how to take care of these yeah. things, pickaxe. I was thinking there's a, there's 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 walls on the eyes and deep right. Exactly. Um well uh I guess we should figure out our marching order. Um is it dark in here, like pitch dark? Uh yes it is. I can see. Um but if you want you a well? light source, I would prefer you have a light source, just so you don't trip yeah, and uh, fall. I'll light up, but uh, I mean, you could maybe go in the front, and the humans could hang behind with some light. <clears throat> I'll I'll light up my holy symbol, but keep it in uh, under a layer of cloth, so there's like maybe dim light around us, but Dragon can see with it. Mm -hmm. That's bright light. And then I could like that. take it out easily uh, in combat. All right, twenty feet of dim light now. Cool. Alrighty. So there is a balcony around um around this um room that you guys are standing at now that leads um, downwards over the edge of the balcony. You can see that there is uh, four gargoyle statues down on that bottom floor there. Hmm. Um, looks like a large uh, hallway extends to the west, and then there is a smaller uh, hallway around the balcony uh, to the north, and one to the to the south this way. Did we get? Uh, so, did, I have a question. Yeah. Did we get any sort of assurance from um? What's his name? Watch. Uh, that that the traps up until the vault are properly um, properly dismantled uh, the traps up until this level have been taken care of oh. this level they were freaked out I see okay Can I so on, like... on this level is the actual vault gotcha I'd like to tell Eeyore to maybe uh, uh, enter the stables and just hide in there with the horses just to have a better view of what's going on in case something crazy happens. Also, just to be able to see uh, the other horse, let's, let's, uh, uh, Nelgart. Um,
All right. Where should we go? Did they see we see doors over there. Uh, uh, I guess yep, we just those are, those are doors. Although um, I guess in the dim light you might not be able to see that. Right. But... You're in the lead, dragon. Yep. Yep. Follow behind you. I'll try to keep you in the light. Although you have. I guess you can see in total darkness up to 60 feet. Correct. If you want to see anything well, don't leave my dick. Mm -hmm. Right. Is it just the gargoyles in this in this room? Uh, yes. There's no like and actually... pit in the floor, correct? Uh, or what's well, that thing they're standing the around? That is a pool of water. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Anything interesting about it? I'd like to actually walk down the stairs and kind of shuffle toward the center of the room. If I can. Uh... You would have to go kind of, let's see, yeah, uh, you can do that. Um, roll a 1d20 as you approach the pool of water. I'll try to keep Dragon within 10 feet of, of myself. Just five. Uh, Okay. Uh, you... Uh, you feel uh, malevolent thoughts fill your head, Trapman, as you approach that pool. Mm. Be gone from my lake, you f idiot. What are you doing here? <sighs> Uh, right. Okay. Um, yep. He called me an idiot. I gotta get out of here. I don't know. The voice in my head. Uh, you, don't, I, you don't hear it? I use a divine sense. What's in your head? Uh, all right, all right, roll a 1d20 as you approach the pool. <laughs> I just took a step forward to make sure it was in the circle. 1d20. Uh, all right, uh, this malevolent, uh, presence fills your head, all right, as you approach that pool. Um... Your divine sense, um, really? Uh, I, I like divine sense to be able to sense fey and aberration. So, uh, there is an aberration, uh, down in that pool of water. And there is also an aberrational energy that is seeping from the, the moss that you can see. Try that. I don't think that's Mr. Wiggles. Uh, I think that's something else. Then it's not in I'll my head. I'll step back. I think it was in your I mean, head, it but is it's in, in your my head, head too. Not... Oh, <laughs> I'm happy it's not just me. At least I don't feel that crazy anymore. Maybe we uh, leave the pool till later. Good, good. Yep, I, I, I'm, I'm with you there. It called me an idiot, man. I don't think it was personal. I mean, I couldn't even you see are you. Kind right? of an idiot, Bob says. <laughs> hey, man, you just got <laughs> here. <laughs> He thought Mr. Wiggles could die. That's pretty stupid to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
I am opting for the South Tunnel. <laughs> Get back here, Bob. Yes, Master. Uh, all right. The South Tunnel, um, reveal, uh, branches into two tunnels, one to the west and one to the east. Uh, In fact, I say to Bob, why don't you fly down to that pool and find out for yourself how stupid I am? Uh, I'm not, I'm not that stupid. Right. Uh, as you guys approach this, uh, this Southwood passage here, you hear a like a, a scraping sound as if someone is, is shuffling around um, in the passageway to the east. Down south and to the east? South and or to east. the east. Sorry, I was thinking west. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So east. Okay. Uh, Shuffling. Ooh. I almost feel like the, uh, the being called an idiot and stupid by my imp is making me feel a little stupid, and I'm very tempted to call down the passage. Hello? Anybody there? But I hold my honestly, tongue. That's, honestly, that's kind of what I would do. But I, that doesn't mean it's a good idea. I mean, I would have just knocked on the the door to the dungeon, so <laughs> you don't have to listen to my ideas necessarily. Oh, what is that? Hmm? Shuffle? No, I, I spotted a counter on my character sheet that I needed to oh. reset because it's been like an entire week since I used it. Okay. Um, I will lead the way down the tunnel, but I'm going to stop short of the cross path and kind of peer around and look eastward to see what I can f see. All righty. Alrighty. Uh, at the end of the eastward corridor, uh, you see a uh, a someone dressed in robes, um, possibly a some like a, a wizard or something, um, and uh, he's moving slowly and carefully uh, in in this direction. He, he's occasionally like catching his his staff on on the wall, and that's what made that scraping noise. Ah. Does he look like any of the other cultists upstairs? Uh, no. Um, his robes look sort of old-fashioned, like very very old-fashioned. Um, but he doesn't look like the cultist from from upstairs. Uh, in his hands, he's holding a a trident. That was what you heard scraping. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, oh, that's actually... No, 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 no. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of options here. Uh, you, you hear this guy muttering to himself, What? There's, there's a light up ahead. Uh, hello? <sighs> oh, you... sorry. I will quietly step forward into the passage. And... Intruder! No! Uh, let's roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Okay. Uh, I mean, you can try to talk him down. Wait, wait, wait. But let's. You got it. You got it. This is good. Oh, that's a horrible initiative. <laughs> good opening. Oh, man. I'm I'm trying to talk him down and waving my hands and Mr. Wiggle Twiggles. We're here on a we're we're friends. We're trying to we're not here to harm you. We just want to know how to get into the well You know. Hi, I'm Traglin. Don't <laughs> All right, my name. Uh, I think, um, I think the rules are slightly different for mortals, but uh, uh. Uh, 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 this uh, wizard will um, will 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 shout out. Now the vault must never be open. And will um, cast a spell towards you, Traglin. Okay. Uh, uh, Wrong guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Of course, it you would be plus, dexterity. Plus three on that. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool. All right. Eighteen. Um, momentarily, a globe of of arcane energy will flicker around you, but you jump back quickly mm -hmm. and manage to avoid closing around you. Ah. Uh, this mage will say, oh no, and will uh, scurry this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Uh, Talison, what does Talison do? I, I, I Talison. Control Talison? Yeah, uh, he can, does he have at least? Arctic Inspiration? No. Um... Uh, I don't think Talison has much that uh, he can do right now, but he can move 15 feet. Uh, kind of squeeze to like here, maybe? Yeah, using like a dash. I think he can squeeze. To yeah. There. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Um, uh, I think I'll dash. Um, be 60, but then I had an extra five feet to move through Traglin Square, right? 
Yeah. Yes, there. All right. Uh, and I'll uncover the uh, holy symbol just to have more light. I guess the full full light catcher. All right. You don't have to change the radius, it's just the radius is bright light now, and then there's another 20 feet of dim. Well, isn't it 20 and 20? Well, it's, yeah, it's 20 bright and then an additional 20 of dim. I just figured, rather than having an enormous circle around me, we just mark the bright and then look at the dim if we need it. Uh, Traglin, you're up. What are you going to do? Whoops, that's nice. not what I... Well, okay. Um, I had an idea, but that's okay. It's going to have to change now. I wish you could change the opacity of these auras. 30 is my movement. No, 25 is my movement. Um, oh, I can't see him, can I, from here? Mm, no. Okay. And then I... I will, I guess, no, 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 even that's not working. I'm really not sure, let me, ah, even that's not going to work. Let me, um. I don't know the layout of the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's touch. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me hold an attack. Just because I don't necessarily want to attack attack him you could dash if you want to make your movement yeah let's do it let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that i will stop here right behind ore and just hang out all right okay all righty on the wizard's turn uh the one two three four Five, six. All right. The wizard is going. To, so, this room here has a water, a curtain of water that is flowing uh, at this arch right here at the halfway point. Well, where where you guys can see. Um, the wizard is going to one, two, three, four, five run through that sheet of water, um, spin around, and say, ha <laughs> you fools, all to the water, um, and uh, we'll cast a spell that will... Da -ba 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 -ba. that will shape some of the water as it falls into until it loads into a 
water elemental, I think it's supposed to be large sized. Uh, and wizard guy is concentrating on that spell. Okay. Um, you'll command the water elemental. Go forward and smash those intruders. Go away. Uh, Can I for a second? <laughs> I think Water Elemental gets its own initiative when it's summoned. I didn't believe. Shit. Yep. Alright, it is three. Alright, so the Water Elemental will move on its turn. Alright, Talison is up. Talison. I think it's gonna dash. That's 40 feet. Uh, I think he'll get here and. <clears throat> um, cast heroism on. I think it makes sense that he would want to reinforce the roles of like, I'll be here in the back, you guys go forward. So maybe. Second level heroism on both of us. Traveling and all right. Yeah. All right. Cool wall. So that's immune to being frightened. Temporary hit points. Uh, so that's uh, two temporary hit points that will top off. I don't think we gain like more each round. I think they top off back to two. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, if we take six damage and, you know, it's reduced by two, then at the next, uh, you know, on his next turn or whatever, when, whenever it happens, we get two back. But if we only take one damage, then we only get one back. Yep. Okay. Cool. It, it doesn't because aid increases your max HP. They can, the two can coexist. Heroism just keeps filling up your temporary hit points. Yeah, that, that's cool. All right. All right, what are you doing? Um, I'm uh, around the corner. We said we said red was going to be temp hit points, right? Uh, oh, yeah. What is, what is Talison's uh, Every hit points equal to your spellcasting ability modifier, which is only plus two, but it's still two. Right, two. And Traglin is two. Alright, there we go. Sorry, oh, okay. Uh, I'll round the corner and, and I'm like, wait, wait, I don't even think we need to. Oh. Uh, and uh, I'm magically emboldened. With heroism, so, uh... I think Ori will step forward and hold an attack roll uh, if the uh, water elemental comes into melee with me. Uh, but I'll just like stand there like this and not aggress. I'll just like stand square off uh, and hold okay. an attack. All right. Uh, the water elemental is up next, and it will uh, come down uh, towards you. All right. So I do have one thing I want to do actually uh, on my turn. Uh, let me see. Is this an action or a bonus action? Uh, it's an action. Can I change what I did a little bit? Instead of holding an attack roll, can I use uh, Unsettling Presence as an action? And just uh, give it yeah. disadvantage? Right. Sure. I think my Unsettling Presence is just like... Um... I'm just trying to get the uh, water elemental back into initiative. I don't think I'm like surrounded by a cloak of shadow or anything. I think it's just like 
there's a glint in my eyes that casts a shadow over my like appearance where it's like the the years like the 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 years the, the many lives that i don't remember you can kind of see them and there's just like a haunted look about him cool uh, uh can you ping your unsettling presence yes it's at the bottom of this uh, oh yeah egg uh, creatures that can't be frightened are immune to this feature. Um, constructs yeah. as well, nothing about elementals. I'm curious if they are or are not immune to... They are not immune to being frightened, so... Right. Okay. Uh, disadvantage Good. on... Like saving throw... And I put them in the next minute. Okay. All right. Um, so, what are elemental? Rushing forward. Um, one slam attack against Treglin. Uh, sorry, against Ove. 17? 17, 10? 17 uh, seven, uh, Against me, a 17. 17. Uh, hits. Just, just barely hits. Uh, or 13 bludgeoning. Uh, that's it for water elemental. Where's traveling? Aw, uh, wait, did we skip over you? Travel site? No. Water yeah, elemental goes been... before me. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah, I see all this like water pooling at my feet as it kind of flows around the corner, and I round the corner only to see this giant hulking thing. Oh God! Uh, like seriously, we don't mean to cause any trouble. I try to yell past it. Um. The vault must never be open! If I move here, could I see the wizard? Yeah. All right. I would like to... Ooh, music. Yeah. I'd like to move up a little bit to say here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's all my movement. And I would like to cast. Blindness, deafness at fourth <laughs> level on the wizard. Okay. Damn. Uh, let's see. With a fourth level slot, you could oh, let me... try to affect both the yep. wizard and the water. Although, yep. is the water elemental? You can blind the water elemental. Then Why yes. does that make? Does it have blind sight, though? <laughs> Interesting, does it? Um, not that I can dodge wow. my feet. No. Wow. Uh, cool. Con save for the water elemental. I think that 16. will beat it. Uh, oh, yeah, that will that will feed, beat it. Honestly, uh, <laughs> at least we don't have to justify how that happens. The, the water elemental. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the mage fails. All right, mage is blinded. If this was Dungeon World, the mage would fail so hard that his eyes would just pop and he'd be permanently blind. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good. That was a good move because now we know two things. One, that spells can be cast through the wall of of, of water, 
And two, if the, is the well of water still there, first of all? Uh, yes, it is a okay. continually falling curtain okay. of water. Right so we know they're supposed to be cast through it, but also, now they can't, because he's blinded. He can't cast spells on us, probably. <laughs> uh, wizard um, is blind. Oh, as a um, bonus action, I noticed that on the wall, there's like five letters, five words. Tricycle, blow, mace, hand axe. I don't care what <laughs> language there, there Or is there a mace here, a, a hand axe here, a blow here? Uh, so I, I, I ran this, uh, <laughs> this level Friday for the, the other people oh. in your group, Ian. Oh, um, yeah. And they put those, those down. Uh, okay. like when I get back, when we encounter this room without an actual combat, I'll, I'll describe it. Okay. Um, but, okay. So the wizard is going to blindly run in a particular direction. Uh, one, two, three, four. The wizard is blindly going to run to the south. Oh, and yeah. Into the water elemental. Um, not expecting that, I think he would have to make a con save in order to avoid breathing in some of that water and losing concentration. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. The water elemental. He gets a plus three because he's. Poops. Boy, I have one question. When you lose concentration on summit elemental, don't you just lose control oh. of the elemental? Oh my god, you're right. Water <laughs> still there. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Water <laughs> elemental still there. It's just not being controlled by the wizard. And um, wizard is blind. Oh god. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Tip for a wizard. <laughs> Actually, he has an action left. Uh, let me, let me, um, ba, ba. what can he do? Uh, uh, wizard will. Uh, bonus action, misty step. He can't see. He can't see. He can't do that. He's, he's stuck. Oh. Uh, forget it. <laughs> okay, Mage is, is stuck in the water elemental. Water elemental is uncontrolled. This can, is riveting. Can he use an action to, like, try to escape? <laughs> uh, potentially. Let me, let me see. Uh, water elemental has... Uh... uh Yeah, he probably could. Uh, what's a wizard mage? Uh, strength. Those wizards are known for their... Wow. Okay. I'll say he's able to battle his way out of the water element. Oof. Okay. So he's right there. He's still blind. But he can at least uh, not be in the space. All right. Callison, what are you doing, my man? riveting. I don't see the elemental on initiative. Uh, yeah. It's probably not a problem. As long as you see it. He comes right after you. Gotcha. Uh, Talus. Um, I mean, it, I feel like Talisman's got to taunt the, yeah. the blind wizard that messed up his own spell so bad. I think I think he'll just sing a song about the foolish wizard. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, that's uh, a bonus action. Cool. Uh, well, that action vicious mockery yeah. on the wizard. <laughs> the same thing. Same. same uh, wow. Words. All right. Uh, I wonder if you can do that. Use the same. If two spells have the same verbal component, can you just cast them? With the same, uh, yeah, charisma yeah, save. Yeah, I, I, yeah. 
Uh, Charisma saving throw for taunt, wisdom saving throw for vicious mob. You fail. All right. Uh, disadvantage on. Okay. On this saving, saving throw. <laughs> And now he has, what? what does he have disadvantage on from Vicious Mockery? Probably nothing, because it won't stack. Uh, attacks. Attack, so his next attack roll. Would have had disadvantage anyway, probably. But who knows? Okay, <laughs> okay, you're up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think... Alright, he's gonna go for the elemental. Um, Cause Ori doesn't really know what's happening here with like concentration breaking and all that. I mean he's a spellcaster, but not like that level of spellcaster. So uh yeah, I'll just attack the water elf. Um wait, can I make it do a saving throw of some kind? Uh, I could, but I don't want to cast that spell on it. Um, no, I'll just I'll leave the saving throws to someone else. I'll attack it. Uh, voice. Fifteen. Ah, uh, that that will hit. All right. Um, and 21, so 6 and 7 slashing damage. Alright, the water of the water <clears throat> elemental doesn't seem to be as, um, doesn't seem to be taking too much damage from your great axe. That makes but, sense. um, it will hurt it a little bit. Minus... Alright. Unless your great axe is magical. Nope. I could make it magical. Potentially. Not with the spells I have prepared today, though. Hmm. Alright, water elemental. Uh... Oh, actually, let's see here. Let's see. No, 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 I'm gonna move here. Yeah. Uh, Water Elemental is going to uh, do one slam attack towards Wizard, which has advantage because Wizard is blind. A 20 will hit for a lot of damage. Boof. Whoa! Uh, hey, I don't know much about magic, but is that part of your spell? Did no! <laughs> It's out of control. Uh, a 10 towards you. Ole is not going to nice. hit. The water elemental will then move forward and envelope. Oh, nice. I, I made that real easy. Uh, you <laughs> and, and the blinded wizard. Uh, Traglin, you're up. Yep. I am. Eldritch. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, Eldritch blast the elemental from where I am. All right. Probably missing the first attack, and probably hitting the second attack. Yes, that one will hit for. Nine fourth damage. Nice. Yep. Uh, you got it below a hundred hit points. And then I will nudge back here next to ta Talison. Alrighty. Uh, the wizard um, is going to try and... What are you going to do? Oh, wait, when do our, our uh, temporary hit points top up? I forgot to do that. At the start of uh, each of their turns. So 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 uh, on any of our turns, I'll top myself. Then you get plus two each, each turn. Okay. 
each of I think each of each of the subjects turns. Each person gets the hit points on their turns. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, Wizard is going to summon up a huge burst of magical energy and just shoot out beams of of magic from his hands that will strike the, the elemental. Um, that is a fourth level casting of uh, magic missile. So roll cool. uh, one, two, three, four, five, sixty-four. Let's so six. Wow. Twenty-one. Get off me, you freak! Do they like puddle? poke through it and then go back through and just? Yeah, they they just keep doing that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, anything else for the wizard? Um, I could try to move back. I don't know. I want. Water elemental to have some, let's see, water form. <sighs> Two slam attacks. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it can move out. Um, half, and then just back a little bit. Uh, uh, wait, did we skip? Okay, Talison's up. Talison. Play an extra high note. Maybe we can atomize the thing. I don't. I don't know enough about, like, uh, what's the word? Uh, Physics. Talison does know that have much. shatter. Does have shatter? That does. Mm. Yeah, I know. That, I don't think that would be good. To do though, I don't want him to do. That. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wait a minute. No, he could actually get. He could get both of them, but he could get both of these guys and not me in the area. Is it gonna be like <laughs> like a grenade underwater where I just take the damage anywhere from the shot? <laughs> oh uh, man. Uh, yeah. No, you're right. Shatter would be Shatter would be a good one. Uh, he has used a second levels. Yeah. Shatter. He'll shatter uh, the <laughs> mage and the elemental. Uh, both of them have disadvantage on their saving throws. Ooh, very nice. Water Elemental takes the full 11. As that shatter uh, causes the water to quiver. And ah! even the mage will take uh, some amount of damage from that. All right. I just imagine. It is looking pretty bad at this point. I just imagine, uh, imagine spouts of water flying off of the elemental and splattering yeah. against the wall. And the whole like thing just whole... shrinks down and shrinks down. <laughs> I feel like that whole side of the elemental that that was hit by the the, the shock would be like that, that those really fine ripples when the shock goes all oh, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like just half the elemental just kind of slumps to the floor and pools yeah. into puddles. Uh, oh, yeah, you're up. Um... Sorry. 
phone. Um, Ore is going to uh, continue attacking the water elemental. Kill step through it on this side uh, and um, uh, yeah his feet feet are still like in the water that's like swirling around uh, um, 11 and 10 damn I don't have advantage for any reason right no mm -hmm. yeah I'm just splashing in the water all right maybe you spend all of that movement trying to slash the the tendrils of the water elemental as it tries to yeah. drag you back yeah all right oh man all right water elemental um surges around you guys once again and uses whelm uh. um, so uh strength saving throw for ore and strength saving throw for mr mage can i hold out my hands to the mage and offer him basically a plus three on his saving throw like offer him give, joining my aura of protection. I just, just hold out my hand to him, and oh if he my, takes okay. it, he gets plus three. All right. Yeah. All right. That's enough. So, okay. so he is now within my uh, aura of protection. Nice. I'm considering him an ally for that. All right. And that is enough for both of you to make that saving throw. Um, not a failure. <laughs> so you guys just are not, you don't take that damage, you're not restrained. No so damage. If it's successful, the target is pushed out of the elemental space. Okay. Wow. That was, that was clutch. <laughs> Okay. Man. All right, Traglin. Um, seeing all of that. Oh. Hmm? Sorry. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Uh, also, when I'm in the water, keep in mind the light source is, is on me. So the light source is being engulfed in the water. <laughs> oh, wiggly, wiggly, yeah. Uh, so seeing Tra uh, Ore's act of kindness and um, selflessness, I run up to the wizard and pull him back and try to once again kind of make friends by saying look we're not here it's not what you think we have nothing against right. you uh... and also yeah try to like lead him back to talison and the imp all right uh make a make a persuasion as you you uh try to rectify things between your party and this poor sad mad mage yeah. um with Ore having helped him i'm gonna say you have advantage so nice. with an 18 he's at sense. least not going to his his friendliness towards you is going to to increase he was hostile and now he is Neutral. At least uh, indifferent. Okay. Um, with that turnabout, um, what is he going to do? Um,
Uh, the uh, the wizard is going to to point at a space uh, beyond the the water elemental, and an enormous uh, sheet of cold ice will rain down in bigger than that, but it's going to miss OA at least. Um, will rain down on the elemental. Uh, this is uh, uh, Ice Storm. Let's uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Ba, 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 ba. Dexterity, not one of the better. Oh, really? 2d6 budgeting on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Uh, 2d8. 5 bludgeoning. And 4d6. 12. Uh, so for the water elemental, the Bludgeoning damage is five for that. The ice damage is for a water elemental. Oh, cool. The, where the ice droplets hit the water elemental, it will f kind of start to freeze up and will move very sluggishly. So that is minus six ice damage in that area. Huh. Okay, uh, Talison, you're up. Would Talison maybe, uh, oh. Right. Healing word, uh, the wizard? Uh, maybe. I don't know how, how uh, trusting Talison is. Um, right. right. I'll say Ori hasn't healed him yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Um, I think that's that's more, I mean, you know Talison better than me. If you think he'd heal him, then, then that makes sense. Mm, not, not yet, no. Uh, in which case, maybe a, because I think the, uh, my disadvantage from, from, I think, uh, uh, Vicious Mockery on the, uh, Elemental would make sense. Um, I won't show the description. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's any caveats at the end about what can be affected. Doesn't have to understand what what it, what he's saying. Seems like it's just a wisdom saving throw. Unfortunately it passes the uh yeah. passes it this time. That's perfect. Okay. What's up with this bot? Phew, finally the mage is unblind. Um Ray will uh try again. It's eighteen. That, that will hit. Twelve. Wanna smite? Do I wanna smite? Uh I'm gonna save it. Should have smoked. That's okay. So, 12 slash. Do you want to retroactively smite? Nah, because we've got, I think, I think we've turned the tables already. I think Ori is just uh, gonna, it's not gonna uh, overexert himself now that we've got uh, the, the odds have shifted in oh, our favor. Oh, baby. 
Uh, water elemental, let's see, is water elemental feeling very smart? Uh, no. Water elementals, um... Pot's broken again. Oh, God. Wailing on over. Where's water elemental? Slam. Slam. Oof, 23. That'll hit. Yeah. Or 13 budgeting towards OA. And. Um, not feeling smart enough to move out of the range of uh, a storm, so it's just going to stay right there. Uh, Traveling, you're up. Okay. Another, uh, another couple Eldritch Blasts. Against the elemental. Just straight up. Bam. Bam. Let's check it out. See. We know what to do. I mentioned to the wizard. Oh, oops. There's another Those. knife. So 16 total. Alright. Those will both hit and <coughs> um, dissipate uh, parts of the, the water elemental. Cool. Um... I actually, I imagine on the water elemental's turn, it would have had to make a dexterity saving throw, a 19 for uh, being in the ice storm, 2d6 plus um, 4d6, uh, minus 1 and minus one and minus uh, and once again it is somewhat frozen by this cold ice uh, that the mage is summoning All right. mage um phew. 21 that will hit or uh, six fire. Let me see what I'm um, oh. Strangely not resistant to fire. Okay. Minus six. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, Allison. It's not resistant to fire? Oddly enough, no. At least this character she is not resistant to, to fire. No. I thought it would be, but Yeah. I mean I, normally I kinda err on the side of like, you know, monsters in D and D aren't Pokemon. Just because it's a fire creature doesn't mean it's weak to ice, but, hmm. but or still. resistant ice or whatever. But but the, but still I feel like a thing made <laughs> out of water. That's uh Talison. Um, I guess Talison will try again with the vicious mockery. It seems like uh, he uh, uh, it would be nice because it would be nice to give a disadvantage. Yeah. DC twelve. Okay. Three psychic disadvantage on his next attack. Awesome. It's looking really ragged at this point. Oh, Ray, maybe you can take it out. Hey, it's working. I had to reboot it. It's okay. Oh, it started over. It started over. Yep. How many pages? Oh. Uh, What's that? Well. Um. Sorry, what's happening? Or right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Just attack. Uh, 13. gonna miss. And... That's just funny. Ooh. Mm. See, I have a, a deep is... instinct to... To divine smite any time I get a natural twenty, but I'll hold off. <laughs> that is enough. 
the water elemental dissolves. <sighs> dissolves back into the water from whence it came. And I think this is a good yeah, I, point. Yeah, I think it's perfect. You need to go. Yep. Yes. Hmm. All right. Good game. Very good. That was that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I realized when he was running away, I was like, wait a minute. We don't actually want to get into the vault, do we? We just want we just want them to not get into the vault. So we might have something in common with this guy. All right, cool. That was fun, guys. I'm yeah. going to go, but uh, see you guys see ya. next week. All right, have a good one.